Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have another fun math problem for you. We're given an equilateral triangle, and it's inscribed in a unit square, and we want to find the area of this triangle. So I want you to pause this video and see if you can solve this problem, but if you don't want to do that, just keep on watching and we're going to solve it, okay? Hopefully I gave enough time to pause it if you need it. So we have an image here of a square with a triangle inscribed, this equilateral triangle. Now bear with my drawing here, I know it's not the best. Well first thing, let's go label the side length of each part of this triangle with the letter S. So we have three uh, side lengths that are all the same, being an equilateral triangle there, and we have S, S, and S. This little space here in the corner of the right angle of the square, I'm going to label that X. So now I have, well, S for a side length here, I have X for this length, and since this is a unit square, this side length here is also 1. Well, with that being said, what do we also know here? Since we have a 1, X, and a length of S here, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that our side length squared is equal to, well, 1 squared plus an X squared. And with that information, we can tell then that this x, or this value here, has to be x as well. Same idea. 1 squared plus x squared, whatever that missing value was, has to equal our side squared. So right there, we have that information to help us out here. Now, I want to also write this, the other length right here, in terms of x. And notice the whole unit right here has a length of 1, right? Side length of 1 for the square. So this second area, or length broken up, not area, length broken up here, can be written as 1 minus x. And in a similar way, like we found this one here, this side length here would be 1 minus x as well. So we can use Pythagorean theorem a second time and say that while s squared is equal to a 1 minus x squared plus a 1 minus x squared. Or simplified, s squared is equal to 2 times a 1 minus x all squared. So now let's go subtract these two equations from each other. We have s squared equals a 2 times a 1 minus x squared. And I'll subtract the first one down here, that s squared equals a 1 squared plus an x squared right there. And let's subtract them. When we subtract them, the s squareds cancel out. We get a 0 here. And then this simplifies to be a uh, 2 uh, times a 1 minus x squared minus, well, 1 squared is just a 1, uh, minus a x squared here. From there, we can simplify this. 0 is equal to a x squared minus a 4x plus a 1. So from here, we want to solve for x, and I did the work for you. We used Pythag or the quadratic formula, not Pythagorean theorem. And x equals a negative, negative b, or a negative b, so b value is 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is also 1 all over 2 times a, which is 1. Now this simplifies to be, I did it for you, and we have x is a 2 minus the square root of 3, and an x is a 2 plus the square root of 3. So we have two values that x can be here. But one thing we know that x has to be between, let's make it up here, continue it out, 0 is less than x, which is less than 1. x has to be some value between 0 and 1, and that eliminates here 2 plus square root of 3. And so, x has to equal the 2 minus square root of 3. Now we're going to apply what we've got earlier. Side squared equals 2 times 1 minus x squared. So side squared here is equal to 2 times a 1 minus our x value, a 2 minus square root of 3. All that is going to be squared. This simplifies to be side squared is equal to a 2 times the square root of 3 minus 1 all squared. And from there, that simplifies to be an s squared is equal to an 8 minus a 4 square root of 3. And I did the hard work there for you. We now need to apply what we know about the area of an equilateral triangle. It has a special formula here. So I'll just go after that 1 half 
base times height. The area of the equilateral triangle is equal to the square root of 3 over 4 times a side length squared. Now we're already given that side length squared there, so we can say the area of this equilateral triangle is a square root of 3 over 4 times our side length 8 minus 4 square root of 3. And notice it was side length squared. We already had this in terms of it being squared. Kept it that way. So then we can simplify this, and I did that again for you. And A simplifies to be a 2 square root of 3 minus 3, or approximately 0.4641. Was this the answer that you got? If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you learned something with this video and had some fun in the process. If you did, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. This helps us really make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Side length here, we know that this triangle, this side length here, also has to be x as well. All right, well, what do we know about <clears throat> So from here, we want to solve for x, and I did the work for you. We use Pythag or <laughs> quadratic formula, not Pythagorean theorem.